Nice to have you with us. Inside the Think Fast locker room, if you can find the matching pairs, then you've got what it takes to win cash and prizes worth over $1,900. But watch out, because somewhere inside lurks the ever-smelly Red Herring. Today, on the gold team, is Kevin and Dan. Time. We hope you guys at home are ready to have fun, too. Let's meet our players. On the goal team, we have Kevin and Dara. <laughs> Kevin likes playing Dungeons and Dragons. He plays basketball and football, and he also swims. Are you on a team, Kevin? Yes, I am. You're on a swim team, right? Yes. What, what, uh, what event do you swim? I like backstroke. The backstroke. That's your favorite one, huh? Yes. Uh, how, how have you been doing this year? I've been doing okay. Okay, yes. right? Are you in, like, age groups? and? Uh, yeah. Ever since I aged up, I've been doing kind of a little bit worse, but I do okay. Okay, good. Well, that's good. All right, uh, Dara likes uh, playing tennis, volleyball, and has been taking dance for over nine years. What would you like to do when you get older? I think be an actress. Be an actress. So you, you like the singing and dancing, too? Do you like to do some musicals? Yeah. What's your favorite? Do you like doing comedies, musicals, drama? Drama. Drama. Okay, great. Good luck. That's our gold team. And on the blue team, we have Alan and Lisa. Alan plays saxophone in the jazz and combo band, and he also likes traveling, and he scuba dives. Are you certified, Alan? Yeah. How long have you been scu uh, scuba diving? For about a year and a half. A year and a half. Uh, have you done open water dives yet? Yeah. Yeah? Did it, did it make you nervous when uh, you stuck your head under the water for the first time? Eh, uh, kind of. Kind of? It didn't yeah. scare you at all? Mm, a little bit. Oh, okay, good. Well, okay, just good is a little bit. All right. Lisa likes to read mysteries. She water skis and does gymnastics. What would you like to do when you get older, Lisa? Um, I like, in college, I want to be a cheerleader. Cheerleader in college. And, and then I like to be a newscaster. And a newscaster. Wow. Who's your favorite newscaster? Um, probably Bar Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters. What about her do you like? Just the way that um, there's not too many women newscasters. And, and she's doing, you know, she goes out and she's a pioneer in women's newscasting. Great. Very good. Those are our teams. Let's hear it for them. That's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams are going to be competing in a variety of events that are designed to test both their mental ability and their physical skill. If they win an event, they earn cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Bender worth 200 bucks. The team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes and face the ultimate challenge in the locker room. Yes. All right. Let's not take up any more time. Let's play our first event, which today is called who stepped in what? <laughs> All right, what we've got here is I'm going to ask you guys a question, and you have to answer the question by hopping around on our checkerboard floor right here with a uh, special sneaker designed to pick letters up. 
Okay, your partner will then take off the letter, off your sneaker, like that, and they'll spell out the answer right up here on one of our boards, okay? Are you guys ready? Here's your question. The uncivilized last name of the star of TV's Wonder Years, this spread knows a Nintendo wizard when he sees one. Are you guys ready? Think fast. Go to it. All right, pick up those correct letters. You got to stick your foot down in there real good. All right, they both think they know what they're trying to spell. The blue team is going for that next letter. They got it. He pulled it off. Let's see how the gold team's doing. Oh, they just, they just took the letter off. She's grabbing another one. The blue team's just... The blue team, she's searching for that next letter. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. Oh, the blue team won. The blue team won. Oh, gosh, that was so close. Way to go, gold team. You guys, come on over here for a second. Come on over here. You guys were so close. You couldn't imagine how close that was. Very good. Played a good game. Let's talk to the blue team. Blue team, come on down here. You guys won. Come on over here. Come on down. Come on down here. All right, let's walk down a little bit. Very good. You guys just won 50 bucks for your team, and you also get a shot at today's Brain Bender, which is a Rebus puzzle, all right? A Rebus is a picture, uh, it's a puzzle made up of pictures and words together that create a phrase, all right? Let's take a look at it and reveal that first piece. Okay, that's a tough clue. Do you guys have any idea what that is? Take a while, guys. What was that? She's saying something. You can say it out loud. Okay, three seconds. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, they didn't have any idea. They didn't have a good uh, idea of what they wanted to say. All right, that's all right. You guys just won 50 bucks for that event, which means the blue team has got 50. The gold's not on the board yet, but we're going to our next event with the guys. Let's do it. How can I change this one around? Let's see. Yeah. Who, do we, who do we have uh, here? Oh, oh this is the demented one himself. It's Dr. Decepto. Dim! Professor, how are you doing? All right, how are you doing, Dim? I'm doing I'm good. brilliant. I'm brilliant, Dim. I'm brilliant. More smarter than Albert Einstein. Oh, really? Smarter than, uh... Uh, okay, okay, before he goes any further, let me explain what's going to happen. Dr. D Dr. Decepto is totally a fake. He's bogus. He's, he's a fraud, right? So he's got his facts all quite confused. So listen carefully to what he has to say, and we have to separate the truth from the baloney, okay? I'm gonna, when the professor is done, you guys listen carefully to what, I'm gonna, what he's saying. I'm going to ask you some questions. You have to answer it. Okay, uh, professor, take it away. Tell us some of the things you were going to talk about. All right, Skip. Well, first of all, let me tell you guys that I was there when some of the first scientific discoveries in the history of scientific discoveries were discovered, okay? Oh. I was there when Alexander Graham Bell invented the world's first telephone, Right. and I was also there when he baked the first pie with graham cracker crust, okay? The first pie? Yeah. Oh. Next I was with uh, Marconi, who invented the radio, you know? And he was also the guy who introduced the world to cheesy ravioli. Right? Oh. All right. Oh. Well, the next thing that I was doing in my time, I was with that little inventor, Tommy Edison. What a good inventor he oh, was. Oh, he was a brilliant A smart guy. little guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. Not as smart as I was. Oh, of course not, Doctor. Smart of course not. Right. You know, I was around when he invented the uh, light bulb. Yeah, the light bulb and the phonograph and the uh, CD player. Yeah, yeah. And I was also there with that first airplane ride, a Kitty Hawk, you know? Right. Which was launched by none other than the famous Balloons Brothers. And then there was that famous, famous scientist, rocket scientist, Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun, right. Who also happened to be a tailor. He owned a tailor shop in Brooklyn. Boy, not only could he send a rocket to the moon, he could also mend a pair of pants like nobody's business, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you the okay, truth. Doc, okay. okay. That's very book. good, Doc. Thanks for that information. Sure, Skip. All right, are you guys ready to be asked some questions? Mm. Here we go. Did you listen to what he said? Here's your first question. Alexander Graham Bell did invent the telephone, but not this graham cracker crusted dessert, as incorrectly stated by the professor. What was that dessert? Gold. Pie. A pie is correct. Gold gets a point. Here's the next question. Marconi did invent the radio, but he did not invent this pasta dish. Gold. What is ravioli? Uh, what kind of ravioli? Cheesy. Cheesy ravioli is correct. Gold gets a point. Here's your next one. Thomas Edison did invent the light bulb and the phonograph, but he did not invent this laser music machine. Blue. CD player. The CD player's correct. Yeah. Two to one. Here's your next one. And the airplane was pioneered by the Wright brothers, but not these wrong brothers. Who were they? Gold. The Blues brothers. The Blues brothers. Gold gets that one. Besides the rocket scientist, what did Professor claim Warner Von Braun did for a living? 
Gold. Taylor. A Taylor. That's correct. <laughs> Time is up. Gold had four. Uh, blue had one. Gold wins. All right. Very good, Dr. DeSepto. Thank you very Take much. Care. Gold, come on down here. Come on down here. Way to go. You just won 50 bucks for that event, right? And uh, you also get a shot at today's Brain Bender, which is a rebus. It's a puzzle made up of pictures and words. Let's take a look at it. You have any idea what that is? No. No idea. That's okay. You still won 50 bucks for that, which means you tied up the score, Kevin. You tied up the score. The score is now 50 to 50, and we're going to our next event. Are you guys ready for something really gross? Are you guys ready for something really gross? Good, because the name of this event is Mess Heads. And what we have here is uh, one player from each team sits under a bag while their partner has to answer questions all relating to food. The reward for a correct answer gets to, you, you get to come down here and take a scoop of some of this seriously uh, sloppy stuff right there. All right, and you get to place it into the bag. The team whose bag breaks first wins. All right, you guys ready? Here's your first question. Buzz in as soon as you know the answer. Four in 20 blackbirds got baked in one of these. Gold. Pie. A pie is correct. Go ahead in there, get a big scoop of that stuff. Get a big scoop of that. Stick it in that bag. Here you go. All right, step on up there. And pour that in there, Kevin. There you go. All right, very good. Okay, put it back down. Come on back behind here. All right, here's your next question. This kind of pie is made from sauce and cheese and pepperoni. Gold. Pizza. A pizza. Go ahead, that's good. Get a big goop of that. There you go. Looks like the bag is already starting to drip. Oh, okay. Very good. Way to go, Kevin. Put it down there. Here's your next question. This is the sappy staple that makes a pancake taste like maple. Gold. What kind of syrup? Uh, what kind of syrup? Uh, maple. Maple syrup is correct. Come on. Oh. All right. There is getting drinks a little bit. It's starting to... All right. All right. Here's your next one. Often served at the end of a Chinese meal, these little tidbits are filled with gold. A fortune cookies. A fortune cookie. These little tidbits are filled with words of wisdom. All right. He's got another big scoop. Dare is waiting to see if this one's going to do it. Did it do it? Yes, it did! Oh! Oh! Very good! Very good! I, I take it that the gold win. Come on down here, Kevin. Come on over here, Dara. Oh, come on over here, guys. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that fun? Yes, it was. All right, she's saying yes. Okay, great. You guys just won 50 bucks for that event, and you get a shot at the Rebus puzzle. It's our brain bender. Let's take a look. Reveal another piece. There we go. Okay, do you have any idea what that is? No idea. They're saying no. That's okay. You guys still won 50 bucks for that, which means the score is now gold 100, blues got Remind everybody what the score is. Gold has 100. Blue has 50. It's a tight game. Let's, uh, oh, in this next round, all dollar values are doubled. Each event's now worth 100 bucks. Let's play. This next event is called Close Calls. And what we have here is we have a giant telephone. And what we're going to do is we're going to have our players take turns hitting the number tone buttons. First one will pick a number. And then the next player will pick that same number. And they'll add one. And we'll go back and forth, building a sequence until one of them forgets. All right? You guys ready? Since the uh, blue, since you're behind 50 bucks, go ahead and you pick that first number. All right. Go ahead, Gold. Okay, go ahead, Gold. They're speeding through this. And add one. It's all right. Go 
Let me go. Okay, that was not correct. Boy, that one went a long time. She got one of the or out of sequence. Uh, but hey, that went a long time. Way to go, guys. Gold wins. Come on down here. Wow. That was good. You did a good job there. You won 100 bucks, and you get a shot at the Brain Bender. It's a Rebus puzzle. Let's take a look. Okay, have any idea what that is? Dewey the Duck. <laughs> is it Dewey the Duck? No, it's not Dewey the Duck, but that's okay. You won 100 bucks for that, which means the score is now gold, 200, blue 50. We're going to our next event. Let's do it. Our next event is one of our producers, Margie's favorite events, and this is called Serious Fashion Victim. What we've got here is we've got a couple piles of clothing, and each pile there's one outfit where four articles of clothing go together. One player from each team has to dress their partner, and partners are not allowed to help. And to ensure that they're not helping, we have taken socks and we've placed them on their hands so they can't help their partners dress them. All right? It's the first team to fully realize this fashion victim's statement that wins. Are you guys ready? Here's your clue. If you're feeling sleepy, this outfit is an absolute dream. If you're feeling sleepy, this outfit is an absolute dream. Think fast. Go to it. Find those four, ar four articles of clothing that go on them. If you're feeling sleepy, this outfit is an absolute dream. Dig through there and see what you can get. Okay, the blue thinks they have their first piece. The gold is still searching. They're still searching for those the sleepwear. All right, blue's putting on uh, their first thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. He's got the first piece on. You can't help. He's, they're looking down there. Okay, the gold's got a hat for And they're looking for the second piece. The blue just put the hat on. The blue just put a hat on. We've got... She's digging now. She's digging for the... For the pieces. She, they're looking for them. Come on, guys. Come on. You know what you're looking for. Let's put that stuff on. Hats inside, Dara. Okay, the blue's just putting a robe on. Now they're looking for that last piece. Where's that last piece? The gold's looking for it. They, they've lost something. The blue is still looking, trying to figure out what that last thing is. This goes. The blue wins! The blue wins! Yes! What they were looking for, what you guys were looking for. Very good. Let's take a look. You had the hat. You had the, uh, the, uh, the robe here. You had the sleep outfit and the teddy bear. It's very cute on you. Very good. All right, way to go. Come on down here, guys. You guys get a shot at the brain bender. All right, stand right here. Stand right here. No, can't. hold on to that teddy bear. It's, it's, it looks good with you, all right? All right, let's take a look at the Rebus. Reveal the next clue. Have any idea what it is? Do you have any idea? I Say it out loud. I don't know. Okay, she's saying she doesn't know. Well, that's okay. You got one, you want 100 bucks for that event, which means the score is now gold, 200. Blue's got 150. That was our last event. We're going to Sudden Death Brain Bender. Let's do it right over here. We're now going to have to go into sudden death. We're going to show the Rebus puzzle, reveal one piece at a time. As soon as our players think they know what it is, they have to buzz in. Let's take a look at the brain bender. Let's reveal that next clue. Okay, you guys have any idea what it is? All right, let's show that last piece. Okay, blue thinks they know. Is it... Follow the yellow brick road? Is it follow the yellow brick road? Yes, it is! It is follow the 
yellow brick road. You got it. You got the 200 bucks. Let's take a look at the rebus. Let's take a look at it. All right. What is that? That's the fall. The leaves are falling off. Follow the. The guy is yelling. Yellow brick. There's a brick, and then he's road road with the D. Very good. You guys just won the 200 bucks for that. Way to go. Which means the score is now. Uh, gold's got 200. Blue's got 350. Blue's going to the locker room. Yes. Okay, let's talk to our gold team. Let's talk to our gold team. You guys did a great job. You get to split the money that you want, and you also get these great prizes that Henry J is going to tell us about right now. Skip for the departing gold team. Make your Nintendo scream with Bandai's Monster Party. Crush your evil demons through eight levels of action-filled play and help Mark escape his nightmare world from Bandai. And all our contestants take home Converse sneakers. Converse, home of the Converse Kids Collection, including all-stars and leather athletic shoes. From shooting hoops to hanging out, the Converse Kids Collection is all you're going to need. Thank you, Henry. We're here with Lisa Allen. They've earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes in the locker room. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Come on, guys. room with Alan and Lisa. They have earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes. Here's how we do it. Behind me, we have 15 lockers, and inside those lockers, we have seven matching pairs. We're going to give you one minute on the time clock, and what you have to do is take turns matching up as many pairs as possible in the allotted time. A locker door will open up, and whoever or whatever pops out, you guys have to find the mates, okay? The first four matches are worth a hundred bucks apiece. The next three are worth these great prizes that Henry J is going to tell us about right now. Lisa and Alan, today's grand prize package includes the Art Deco inspired Maryland radio, delivered great AM FM sound, while the blue and gold neon glow steadily for pulsate music by Christina. And as important as sound good, it's looking good. From each pack, 30 to a pack. Instead of bags for school, play, or travel, these pack bags are stylish and built to last. And if you make all seven matches, you're going to see the Space Shuttle at the real Space Camp. All the fly simulated Space Shuttle missions and train like a real astronaut. Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama, or Cape Canaveral, Florida. It can all be yours as you face the ultimate challenge in the locker room. Okay, we're just about ready, but you have to watch out because inside one of these lockers is the dreaded Red Herring. The Red Herring is a character that has no match at all. So if you think you found him, run over here, yank on the handle. It'll close up the lockers and allow your partner to continue matching. Let's remind the audience at home who the dreaded one is today. Okay, they get a look at him. All right, are you ready, Alan? Yeah. All right, let's open up a locker and see who he has to match. I am Jacques Cousteau the end. Janitor of the sea. Help me find my frogman assistant, Garcia. Okay, you're looking for Jacques Custodian, all right? You're looking for the match. Let's put one minute on the time clock. Ready? Think fast, Alan. Go do it. Find those matches. Find those matches. You found it. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Okay, go ahead, Lisa. Go ahead. You're looking for the shoes. You're looking for the shoes. Find those shoes. There's it. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Okay, Alan, go. You're looking for the, the maestro. You're looking for the crazy maestro. Where is it, Alan? Congratulations, you went all the way in the locker room, Lisa and Allen. Each of you received $400 in cash, plus the Maryland Radio, the East Pack Bag Collection Package, and a trip to Space Camp. A prize package worth $1,950 each. Congratulations! Whoa. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Are you excited? Are you having a good time? Yeah. All right, congratulations. This is Skip Lackey coming to you from Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida, saying, remember, if you don't have time to think twice, think fast. Bye-bye.
Blast is taped in front of a live audience at Nickelodeon Studios, located at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.